And there's a reason why I believe that well, the title of this video is going to be Why One World States Slash Governments Can't Exist. And my reasoning for this is that a country is a nation plus a state. If cosmopolitan states ever form, I'm not going to use the word cosmopolitan government because governments can be institutions that may be established once or twice, but they're not going to perpetuate the establishment and form a hierarchy. They're eventually going to undergo a sort of emergence. Yeah. Now, the reason why these things can't just be one thing, just can't be one cosmopolitan state that has a monopoly over the world, is that all that's going to change is that a country is going to mean a state plus the world. That's it. So it'll be many states that surround the world. And you can call it the perfect fusion between a corporation and state because they're going to have to sh do a bit of sharing. And there's going to have to be a lot of little agreements and disagreements and disputes and warfare. It's going to be a bit of a bitch. It's going to be more of the same. But it's not going to be that same Armageddon bullshit that we hear about in even atheists which surprises me so I think they'd be above this in the end countries will take on a new meaning instead of a state that's surrounding a nation like a taco the state would be surrounding the world and the entire globe and there would be several of these cosmopolitan states that all compete against each other. Or, at very best, they'll agree and they'll start sharing and shareholding just like really complex stocks in modern bullshit corporations. Remember when corporations used to be a good thing? Yeah. Well, the same thing happened with states, but then they became hierarchical. I doubt that they'll ever become unhierarchical, so anti-statism all the way. Now, this has been Mr. Walker 7, Leon Red, the Alpha Male, the Legend, the Dick Squeeze. And he's going to tell you to suck his dick.